Okay, hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking in Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. Philippians 3, 7 and 8. And uh, this is going to be, this is going to be, I hope this is good. Um, I'm excited about this lesson. I think in the past couple of days I've been talking, or the past, I don't know, maybe it's been a couple of weeks, but I've had a lot of lessons and the Lord's been showing me a lot about listening to Him. Uh, there was the, the message about having one-way relationships and, and not just talking and blabbing all the time, but listening to God. And I've been trying to do that, and um, I tell you, that can be a dangerous thing. Uh, because the Lord can put things in into your mind and into your heart and, and give you instructions that um, that might seem questionable. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I'm excited about this this message today. Philippians 3, 7, and 8 says, But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What's more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for who for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage, that I may gain Christ. So what Paul is saying here is that he had a lot of things to brag about. Um, he had a, a, a impressive lineage. He was a Roman citizen, which was a big deal. It offered him a lot of privilege. He was a member of the tribe of Benjamin, which uh, was one of the, you know, it was Judah and Benjamin that, that were the two tribes that uh, stuck together. And it was out of the tribe of Judah that uh, Jesus came. So being from Benjamin was um, uh, kind of a high status type of thing. He was um, renowned for his zeal for the law before he became a Christian. He, his zeal for the Jewish law was was uh, infamous, and he had you know persecuted the church um, in his old life. Um, what else? He had a lot of things to brag about. Um, especially to his enemies or people who preached against him, namely the Jews. And what he's saying here is that he, all of that stuff, his background, his privilege, his citizenship, all of that stuff didn't matter. He counted that as loss. It was negative in his life compared to the positive gain that he got when he became a Christian, when he accepted Christ and decided that he was going to give everything to the Lord. So the question today is, what are we embracing instead of Christ? Paul could have very easily embraced all those things that I was talking about, and he did that for part of his life. What are we embracing in our lives instead of Christ? What are we losing by holding on to those things in our lives that we feel are important, that other people look at us and say, oh, they're important because of this? What gives us status that we're holding on to that is actually holding us back that is actually a negative in our lives. Is it stuff? Um, I've talked about that on this in, uh, in this forum before. Sometimes we have a lot of stuff and we get proud of that, but what is it really adding to our lives? Is it a false sense of security in your job? A false sense of security in your investment accounts? Yeah, those things make us feel good, but really, you're not secure even if you think you are. Anyone can lose their job at any time. Anyone can lose their fortune at any time. And even if you don't, if you're holding on to that stuff so tightly that you're losing Christ, then you are, in fact, losing everything. So it's a false sense of security. We're, we're, we are deceived by what we have. We're deceived and even enchanted by the world because we are such a materialistic society. And even in the church, um, Christians are not immune from this. Um, so it's easy to hold on to that stuff and to count the stuff as gain, the things of this world as gain, instead of counting Christ as gain. And what we lose is the full benefit of having a relationship with Christ, the full benefit of being a child of God. And that's a serious sacrifice that we're making and we don't even realize it a lot of times. So... Take a, an inventory of what you have. Take an inventory of what you value. And, and, and try this. If the Lord said, get rid of it, would you do it? How hard or how easy would it be? That's a tough challenge. And I'm not saying that because any of this is easy for me. But that's a tough challenge. Look around you at your house. Look around you at you, your possessions, your bank accounts, your things. Which of those things, if God said, I want you to give it away, 
Which of those things would make you say, oh, yeah, Lord, I love you. Um, I want your blessings, but I don't want to be so close to you that you're making me do that. It's a tough challenge. And I think if we are listening to the Holy Spirit like I'm trying to do, then he's going to tell us some things that we need to give up. So make that a part of your prayer time in the next several days. Actually, make it a part of your prayer time every day from now on. Lord, where are you moving? What do you want me to do? Is there anything I'm holding on to that you don't want me to? So there's a challenge for you. I told you that uh, it can be dangerous when you start really listening and seeking the Lord. Um, but it can't be anything but good. So have a good day.